right, good evening, everybody. Today we're going to be doing lesson 7-1, Understand Likelihood and Probability. Well, we're going to start here uh, at the Explore part where it says, for a game show, Jared had to choose one of eight boxes to win a prize. One of the boxes has a big prize, three boxes have a medium prize, three boxes have smaller prizes, and one box is empty. How confident should Jared be that whatever box he chooses, he will win a prize? Suppose you respond, or support your response with a mathematical argument. Well, what are the chances that Jared will choose a box with a prize? Let's see, well, there's eight boxes, only one of them doesn't have a prize, right? So we know one out of eight boxes is empty. That means one out of eight is empty. Remember, every fraction is really a division problem. One divided by eight would be 0.125. And when we move that decimal over two spaces, that gives us the percent. And that means he has a 12.5% chance of choosing a box without a prize. It also means that there are seven boxes out of eight that have prizes in it. Now seven divided by eight will give us 0.875, and we'll move that decimal over, it will give us 87.5% chance of picking a box with a prize inside. Jared should be very confident that he's gonna want a prize. Now suppose the empty box is taken out of the game. How confident should Jared be that he will win a prize? Well, if the empty box is taken out, that's a 100% chance he's gonna win something, right? Jared should feel certain he will win a prize because only the only box without a prize has been removed. Every remaining box has a prize in it. Well, let's send Sherry spin the pointer to the right and record the color that lands on it. The table shows the results after 100 spins. How can Alyssa and Sherry explain the results? Well, there are four possible results or outcomes when Alyssa and Sherry spin the pointer. The pointer can land on the red section, the pointer can land on the yellow section, the pointer can land on the green section, and the pointer can land on the blue section. Each section is the same size. There is one section of each color. That means each of the four outcomes is equally likely because the pointer has an equal chance of landing on any of the four sections. Each time the spinner, each time they spin the pointer, the likelihood or probability of the pointer landing on red, yellow, green, or blue is the same. Each of the, uh, each of the equal sized sections is shaded one of four colors. So the probability of the pointer landing on any given color is one out of four or one fourth. Since one over four, remember every fraction is a division problem, and one divided by four would give you 0.25. When we move that decimal over two spaces to turn it into percent, that turns into 25%. So they have a 25% probability uh, of, of, that they, uh, let's see, the probability can also be written as 25%. Uh, so it says the spinner has four sections. Uh, each section is shaded one of four. That's what they had last time. The pointer should land on each color about one out of four times or about 25 times out of 100. All right, we return to try it. It says, how might the probability of the pointer landing on a given color change if this, uh, for the spinner shown at the right? Well, this time they've made eight different sections, but two of the sections are the same color for each one. So is that going to change the probability of it landing on that color? Well, the probability will not change, even though there are now two sections for each of the four colors. There are still an equal number of sections shaded for each color, and the sections are all the same size. So the probability of the pointer landing on any given color is two out of eight, which is the equivalent to one of four, or one over four. And remember that's gonna give us 0.25, and we'll move the decimal over twice to turn it into a percent of 25. Believe it or not, if you take two and divide it by eight, you'll also get 0.25, which would be 25% as well. Oh, it's wrong to the convince me. It says, how would the probability of the pointer landing on a given color chain if the spinner had six equal size sections with each section a different color? Well, if each section is a different color, I have one 
out of six chances. The probability of the pointer landing on any given color would be one out of six or one over six and one divided by six is about 17 percent. Let's go to example number two. The probability and likelihood, uh, use probability and likelihood to describe situation. Carrie will roll a number cube with sides uh, labeled one through six. What is the probability that she will roll a two? Well, two is just one of the numbers out of the six die, so uh, only one out of six total sides is two, so the probability is one out of six, which is one six. Or you could take one divided by six and get your answer in the calculator. Move that decimal over twice and find out what the percent is. What is the probability that she will roll a number that is less than seven? Well, all the numbers on the dice are less than seven. So uh, since all the numbers on the cube are less than seven, uh, it is certain that she will roll a number less than seven. The probability is six out of six and six divided by six is one. If you take that decimal and move it over twice, that's a 100% chance that she's going to roll a number less than seven. Now, what is the probability that she will roll a number greater than six? Well, there are no numbers greater than six on the dice. So none of the uh, six numbers on the cube is greater than six. So it is impossible to roll a number greater than six. The probability is zero out of six or zero. Let's try it. What is the probability of rolling an 11? Well, looks like we have a dice here with uh, 12 sides to it. So since 11 is only one of the numbers, that's a one out of 12 chance. What is the probability of rolling a number greater than five? Well, how many numbers are greater than five? Well, there's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's seven numbers. That's seven out of 12 or seven over 12. What is the probability of rolling a number greater than 12? Well, there are no numbers greater than 12. So zero out of 12, it is impossible to roll a number greater than 12 on a 12-sided dice. Uh, Marissa designed a spinner for a game. The spinner is fair if there is an equal chance for the pointer to land on each letter. Is the spinner a fair game? Well, we have A here, E here, A here, B here, C here, and D here. Seems to me that there are two opportunities to land on A, but only one opportunity to land on B, C, D, or E. The spinner has six equal size sections. Two sections are labeled A, so this tells me the probability of the pointer landing on A is two out of six, which is equivalent to one out of three or one third. The probability of the pointer landing on B is one out of six. Each of the probabilities of the pointer landing on C, D, or E is also one out of six or one over six. It is more likely that the pointer will land on A than any other number, so it's not a fair spinner. Is the spinner shown a fair spinner? If yes, explain if not, describe a change that could be made to make the spinner fair. Well, it seems to me uh, there's a 50% chance it's going to land on blue. Uh, there's a 4 out of 10 chance that it will land on red, and only 1 out of 10 chance that it will land on white. So, uh, no, the sections are not or, or excuse me, the sections are all the same size, but five sections are blue, four sections are red, and one section is gray. The spinner will be fair if the gray section is shaded red because the probability of the spinner landing on either blue or red will be five out of 10 or one half. All right, remember the key concepts here. Probability that something will occur is a value from zero to one which describes its likelihood. You can write probability as a ratio, such as one out of two, or one half, which is a fraction, or as a percent. By taking uh, the numerator and dividing it by the denominator, you'll get uh, your answer and then move that decimal over twice to turn it into a percent. The probability of landing on uh, 
heads is one out of two because there are two sides to a coin. Probability of rolling a seven uh, is zero out of six on a dice because there's only six sides to a dice. The probability of rolling a number less than seven uh, is six out of six because all six of the numbers on the dice are less than seven. The closer the value is to zero, the less likely it is that the event will occur. The closer the value is set to one, the more likely it is set uh, it is that the event will occur. Remember, we're taking whatever number you get, moving the decimal over twice and turning it into a percent. So one actually turns to 100%. One over two would be uh, 0.5, which would be 50%. All right, what is, the pro what is probability? Well, probability describes the likelihood that a chance uh, that a chance event will occur. And how can you use probability to draw conclusions about the likelihood that something will occur? The higher the probability of something, the more likely it's going to occur. And why is probability limited to numbers between 0 and 1? The number of favorable outcomes could be as low as 0, so the probability would be 0. The number of favorable outcomes could be the same as, but not greater than, the total number of possible outcomes. So the probability would be 1. Hallie is going to select a card from a group of the cards shown, complete each statement. The probability that Allie will select a card labeled 3 is 1 out of 10. Well, out of these 10 cards, two of them are 3. That's Two out of 10. Or, well, two divided by 10 would be one over five, and that would give us about uh, 0.2, which would be roughly 20%. Because the probability that each number will be selected is not blank, the group of cards is not fair. Well, we've got two of them that are one, two of them that are three, and then we got five of them that are Five. So uh, the answer is equal. Because the probability that each number will be selected is not equal, the group of cards is not fair. It is blank that Allie will select a card labeled with a number less than six. Well, all these numbers are less than six. So it is a 100% chance, right? There is a 100% certainty. Uh, that she will select a card labeled uh, with a number less than six. Number seven says it is blank that Allie will select a card labeled four. Well, there are no number fours here. So uh, it is impossible that Allie will select a card labeled four. Well, it looks like the rest is for your homework. You can find that on the homework video. Hope this lesson helped clear out uh, what the uh, expectations are for probability. And I uh, look for you in the next lesson. Have a great night.